And hello everybody, welcome back, it is your boy the Logical Dude, and I am here with another Weed Market Wednesday on this beautiful day of April 28th of 2021. I missed last week's, sorry guys, that definitely would have been an appropriate time to do it because it was 421, but yeah, 420 was on Tuesday, I did a set at the 420 Canna Fest, and I ate too many edibles and took too many dabs and you know yeah so Wednesday was a bit of a recovery day for me anyway so I'm back this week and we are talking weed markets we are going to be talking the MJ ETF just kind of doing a brief overview of that ETF and talking about why it's great to invest in these ETFs for the long term if you want to invest in the cannabis industry so we're going to get right into it. Quick little crypto overview. This is the CoinLogic index. Basically, it's uh, my index, my little team's index, what we invest in. We have Hive uh, ha hanging strong over 64 cents. Bitcoin has been struggling to break and stay above the 55,000 level. We went up to a little about 55.5 and then came back under it. And we're really finding a lot of resistance in this level. So I uh, can't wait to see it break out and move above. You know, I think we all want to at this point. But you can see Ethereum is definitely leading the way. We're up 3.45% today. Um, and it is screaming over uh, $2,700 currently at $2,724. And you can see the rest of the CoinLogic Holdings is doing really well. I think Ethereum's doing well. And from what I understand, the gas fees have seriously dropped down uh, a lot. So this may be really good for Ethereum in the long term as far as with DeFi and being able to interact with these platforms. Maybe we can get some average people back into the Ethereum ecosystem to where it's not just whales, you know, uh, doing all doing all the trading and investing on Ethereum. Because with the gas fees, there's no way regular average people like myself we're going to be able to interact with these systems, you know, to send, oh, yeah, I want to send 20 bucks, but it's going to cost me 30, you know, no way, I'm not doing it. So I treat Ethereum like I treat Bitcoin. It is basically nothing but a collateralized store of value for me, uh, or collateral and store of value. That's the way I should say it. Anyway, uh, so I've been using Binance Smart Chain for my DeFi stuff, using the Cub Finance, uh, as, you know, I've done some videos on that before. And uh, that's working out really well. Uh, so we're going to keep going with that. But anyway, you can see kind of what's going on with the rest of those markets. Um, yeah, we've kind of, after we took that bounce, we or that drop down, we had a nice little bounce back up. So we're just trying to find some stabilization in the markets, I think, at this point. Because a lot of these coins are at all-time highs. And we're just kind of in price discovery, trying to find market stability and that kind of thing. So... That's what we're trying to do with Weed Cash too. Uh, the Weed Cash market has been a little bit beat up. Um, you can come over here to WeedCash.org and you can come and learn about our community and that kind of thing. Uh, learn about our token structure, how things work. So we're built on the Hive network, where you can come and socialize and earn token, uh, earn crypto tokens as rewards. Those uh, Hive tokens can be swapped for Bitcoin. Even our weed token can be swapped for Bitcoin as well. We also have an EOS version of our weed token that can be sold on, traded on Nudex. Uh, .io uh, through the EOS network. Not a ton of volume there. Most of our volume is on the Hive uh, ecosystem. So let's go check out Tribal Dex real quick. And uh, let's go to the exchange. I had all this set up before, but you know what? Sometimes things happen. So let's go to the weed market here on Tribal Dex, which is if. <sighs> Hive is basically our base layer, and then we have Hive Engine, which is our second layer smart contract system, which is uh, what allows us to be able to have the tokens and everything built on Hive. And that is what you're looking at. Tribaldex.com is their kind of their uh, main workhorse uh, exchange. It's where they're putting all their effort into. They've got different services. We've got uh, liquidity pools, which we're going to be talking about in a minute. And uh, it, you can create NFTs through this platform. It's a really cool platform. But anyway, let's talk about the weed market real quick. So the weed token is definitely, as you can see, it's been taking a bit of a beating. Hasn't been a whole lot of volume happening um, recently. But, you know, the community's been a little lower. We're kind of in a rebuilding phase. Uh, as you can, you know, we've been rebuilding the weed cash uh, homepage. We have introduced the weed chat, which is a great way for people to be able to come in and interact with our community. 
with just having a basic social media network. And, and this is basically just, you know, an off-chain way for you to be able to come and get involved with the community, talk about cannabis. And, you know, if you want to learn about the blockchain, we can absolutely teach you about the blockchain here. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, come check out weedcash.org. Uh, and then, see, one thing that our community has that many other communities don't is an actual use case for our token because you can earn your weed tokens and then come and spend them here on the weedcash.store. So where you can actually buy real world products. We have weed cash apparel and accessories. We have smoking accessories. We have CBD and hemp products. And soon we will have Delta HTHC products too coming on the store. I'm just working out that whole situation. Uh, so yeah, you can come and check out what we have here and actually spend Hive, HBD, or Weed. And then you can also spend BTC, LTC, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, USDC, DAI, and then a lot of the, uh, the higher cap swap tokens on the Hive Engine Exchange, like your swap BTC, swap LTC, swap BCH, swap EOS, that kind of thing. So that's all available here on the WeCash.store. So yeah, you should come and check that out. But anyway, let's talk about real quick uh, what I am doing currently with my liquid weed. Any liquid weed that I earn from my mining rewards, from my content uh, creation and promotion, that kind of thing, is right now going in to support the liquidity pools. So they are they have started a, they call them diesel pools. So we, it's basically a liquidity pool uh, process, for, and these are great. It's a really simple and easy way to be able to swap tokens back and forth. All right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to add liquidity and I'm going to go and I'm going to select the swap hive to weed. All right, well, I have a balance of 55 weed, so I'm going to hit max. Well, that is going to equate to 2.36 to whatever swap hive. So because you have to have equal amounts of swap hive and weed going into the liquidity pool. Because the whole part of it is you are taking one side of the one side of the trade or the other, so you got to have equal amounts in there that you're providing. It works that way with Uniswap. It works that way with like Pancake Swap, Cub Finance, Liquidity, all that kind of stuff. Any liquidity pool, it works this way. You have to have equal parts, half and half. So I'm going to go max weed, which is going to put this much hive into the liquidity pool, and then I'm going to add liquidity. It's going to pull up my hive keychain. I'm signing the transaction, just like you would with MetaMask or anything else like that. Hive has all the same stuff, but guess what? Our fees are free. Because we have a decentralized delegated proof of stake system that works really well. And it helps with scalability and it helps with transaction speed and that kind of thing. So, there we go. We have added liquidity has been successful. So, that's another thing that you can do with weed. So, that is our favorite can, uh, cannabis crypto. So, let's go and talk about some actual cannabis industry markets. And we're going to be getting into the MJ ETF. So, we are here on Market Watch. Market Watch has got the best um, kind of breakdown of the different ETFs as far as their holdings and that kind of thing. So, let's uh, real quick, let me go back over here to the overview so we can take a, take a look at some of this stuff. So you can see here, you know, what your day range is, your 52 week range. So the MJ ETF has ranged between $10 and 12 cents and $34 and 58 cents in the past 52 weeks, which is a year. Uh, so based this $34, uh, that was during the whole Wall Street bets pump when GameStop and AMC and all that was going nuts. They hit the cannabis industry as well and all those ETFs like the YOLO ETF, MSOS, all that pumped up real hard and is actually dropping back down and settling down kind of in this range. And it's been in this 20 to $23 range for a while at this point. So what a great thing with these ETFs is, is you can buy and hold these ETFs long term. Like I have the MJ ETF in my M1 finance account. It incorporates i think three percent of my m1 finance account it is one of my lower performing ones but i believe in the cannabis industry long term so i want a piece of it i want to invest in the industry and this is how i'm investing in the industry as a small average joe kind of guy because i'm definitely not a rich guy or anything like that 
I am your average guy trying to change my life and trying to make better financial decisions than I did in the past. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to, I guess, teach you guys as I learn and go into my, uh, go through my journey as well. So anyway, MJ, 2.66% dividend yield, which equates to about two cents per share. Uh, and this is per quarter. So they pay out once every uh, three months. So there's not a ton of volume that happens here. Uh, there is more volume, uh, especially as like options trading and that kind of thing on the uh, MJ ETF than there is on, say, YOLO or MSOS. MSOS actually has a little bit higher, uh, it has a higher stock price value. And we'll go over the MSOS ETF another day. But the MJ ETF kind of seems to trade a little bit better, in my opinion, as far as uh, if you're wanting to get in there and just trade options. Now, I've tried to trade these. Uh, if you guys followed some of the earlier Weed, Cat, Weed Market Wednesday videos, you saw I got wrecked in uh, an options trade with the MJ. But, you know, learned your lessons. And I'm basically just investing in this for the long term. So I'm sticking it in my M1 Finance account, and I just keep adding money to it. So let's go and take a quick look at some of the holdings. So these ETFs don't necessarily just invest in cannabis centric. I mean, it's not like just dedicated to the cannabis industry. You will see some of these companies that are say like fertilizer companies, land companies, you know, land holding companies, stuff like that, that they're actually investing in the farmlands. They're investing in the materials and the products that go into actually growing the cannabis and that kind of thing so it's not just the growers and the producers it's the whole it's the industry as a whole so you can see their top 25 holdings you know their their biggest holdings gw pharmaceuticals alfria tilray canopy growth corporation chronos group grow generation corporation that kind of thing so you, you can see as we go through here, some very recognizable names. And, you know, and you'll see people like Philip Morris International. A lot of these tobacco companies are jumping into the cannabis game because, you know, they are they know that cannabis is going to absolutely destroy them once it gets legalized. So, you know, instead of trying to fight it, just join it and let's, let's go. Let's legalize cannabis on a federal level, guys. It's, it's time. It's time. So you can see Aurora Cannabis and, you know, Scott's miracle Grow. That's another example of a, a company that's not necessarily a cannabis company, but you, a lot of people use miracle Grow to help grow cannabis. And I know my growers in my weed cash group are cringing right now going, Oh, Miller, oh no, not miracle Grow. but Hey, let's just get real with it. The big time farms use it. Um, you know, so you've got all kind of different things, uh, you know, different tobacco companies, different farm holding companies. Yeah. So it's invested in the industry as a whole. And that's where I want to be. And I just feel like that is the best way to be able to invest in the cannabis industry right now. Because if you go and start trying to throw money at these individual stocks, really, they all kind of move together. A lot of them do kind of move together. So it's like, why not just wrap them all up in a big basket and just invest in the big basket? Because you don't know which one's going to be the true winner. And, you know, so I might as well just to be invested in the whole pot. A great way to cover the entire industry is to look at also the other ETFs like the YOLO and the MSOS, which we'll go over in the next couple of videos. Uh, so if you want a full basket of the entire cannabis industry, then you can go that route and just buy a little bit of each ETF. So that's definitely a choice too. Of course, this is always no financial advice. I'm just a dude on the internet talking about the cannabis market. Speaking of cannabis, I got this headbanger I'm going to smoke real quick. So if you got a joint, hit one up with me. Headbanger number seven. Some good stuff, man. But uh, I've been having to kind of lighten up on it during the daytime because it tends to knock me into the chair a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish you guys could see me right now. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, Streamlabs and my computer have not been uh, playing nicely. So trying to run multiple things has been uh, has been a struggle. 
So, yeah, I'm looking into a new computer. I'm looking at those new Mac M1 uh, chips. I'm hearing nothing but good things, so I'm trying to decide if I want to do a Mac Mini and a little setup here in the van, or if I'm going to do just a MacBook Air and go that route. I haven't quite decided just yet. I think I will have more extendability and functionality with the Mac Mini, but uh, power usage and stuff in the van, the MacBook Air may be the better way to go. I don't know. Anyway, so that's really going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, thank you for sticking around this long. I hope y'all have a great day. Smoke one up. It's Weed Market Wednesdays. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.